Today we, in this tutorial we are going to I'm going to teach you how to make a, a very simple uh, app that we can call it a virus. Technically, of course, in, in a, it, it isn't a virus, but its function may cause some some very some cool damages to any computer. Uh, sorry for my English. Uh, can cause a, a quite have a nice damage to any computer because when you open it, its function is to eliminate a certain files. You can choose the files you, you want to eliminate, of course. In this case, I will eliminate, um, I will delete these images I have in my desktop. desktop. So, well, you will see that when I open the, um, the application, these files over here will disappear. So let's do it, and then I will teach you how to make the the code source the source code. So I open the application, and the files disappear. Of course, this is very this is no harmful at all. But if you instead of choose of choosing these files, for ex example, that are there are images, you choose I don't know, you know something from here, from Windows, something that is important and it is useful for the opera operating of the system, like, you know, you can erase this folder or any folder over here and I guarantee you that the owner of that computer will, will have some trouble. So, well, we'll make this simple virus. Of course, this application is dot x is execute ex executable because I transform it that way okay so let's begin okay so we open the blue J and we create a new class we'll put cool virus Okay, so we open our beautiful class and we insert its functions. The functions we want to we want to insert. I repeat, I mean this code is really very simple. It's just uh, it's it's just for the fun of it. Okay, so here we have our class, so public class. Uh, first of all, we need to import our Java EO file uh, for being able to manage uh, files in our, in our computer. We first incorporate our main function, our public static function, public static void main. string uh, okay so first of all we will make a thread so the program can repeat itself it's like it's like loop Make the variable integer e will value it zero. And now we make our very powerful loop. Well, true. This means it would always run because while well, true, it always true. It, would, it will always be true. Uh, e plus plus. It means e will sum will sum itself from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven until any value we want. So first 
if e is equal to zero to one, say, we will create this variable. First, we call the class file, and we instantiate it into file, file, low capital, low letter, new file, and we choose our path. This is the path where our file that we want to locate, that we want to delete, is located. Okay, here. File dot delete. Of course, as uh, this is a, a thread, <clears throat> as we want this to repeat over and over again, every certain period of time we will have to thread dot sleep a thousand catch interrupted exception statement yes this have to be inside the while loop here okay so what have we, what have we done here first um, we make a thread the thread means that the code inside this while loop will execute itself every a thousand uh, milliseconds. So let's give it a try. I'm doing this, I, I'm incorporating the thread in our code so the, um, the program is more, more, more show off, I would say. So this should already work. So we will create our file, our image, one jpg. We can get it from our garbage can. We have to have, to have a jpg. A JP, JPG image somewhere okay so we put it here and I have to call it one because this is the file we're going to limit it or I can call it central hydro so if we execute this program this class uh, this image will uh, disappear. See, it disappears. Perfect. So perfect. Okay. Then we can say our virus is ninety ninety percent finished. But we want to eliminate not only one file, we want to eliminate many files because we want to create a, a very big damage into our our enemy's computer. So we will eliminate uh, the amount of files we want because the code is designed to do it. So let's start. Um, of course, just for the record, I want to show you that this course, this code can function very well with very little code. 
with only this, we can eliminate a file. You will see. One, we will now call a PNG file. Ah, okay, our file is still our file is still running, of course, because the loop is still running. So you will see now that with this very simple code, a PNG here. So you will see that this file will disappear. We compile and disappear. You see, but as we want to eliminate many files, uh, we need our complete code. Okay, so let's have our complete code we need this we need the while loop we need this Sorry, I'm doing this again. This will take a few seconds. We need this, and we need our try catch, or try catch, try catch. Okay, so now we are in the same in the same spot we were before. Okay, so with this code we now can eliminate, we now can erase any amount of file we want because when e, when e is equal to, when i, I would say, not e, e would be this letter, sorry, I confu I'm confused, I'm mixing, I am mixing English with Spanish, if as e will take any value we want from zero to infinite, if e is equal to 1, we'll eliminate this file. If e is equal to 2, we will eliminate this file. Is if e is equal to 3, we'll, we'll eliminate this file, and so on. What we then have to do is to exit the system because if not this loop will be infinite. It will never stop stop. Unless the user of course turns down its computer. Four five sets. Okay. And if if E if a is equal to 7, then system.exit 0. This means when e is equal to 7, the, our program will stop running. I believe now we have a very decent virus code. Okay, so let's create our files to eliminate. We need another we need another PNG file. This will suit perfect for our purpose. Uh, one. So we have now have our six images. Two three, four, five, six. Two, 
two. Sorry for this. Three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we now will run our very powerful code. So you'll see that uh, you'll see that these files, these images, will disappear one by one. In just a second. See? Disappear and our code exits. Finish. Okay. So very simple. As I said before, if you want this code to really damage your no no friend your no friendly computer your no friendly guy computers guys computer so we need to you should incorporate the path of a crucial document you know like I don't know I would choose all these all these folders <laughs> any of these folders I believe could cause really interesting damages like you know fonts no more fonts for your your friend or mm, policy definitions you know you could erase all of all of these i believe these are important Yesterday I saw one file here that, you know, control I'll delete, I could eliminate this one. I'm sure, I'm not a, a, a computer ex ex expert, of course, but I'm sure that if we eliminate this file, uh, nothing good could happen, you know? Okay, so for the last time, here's our code. I hope you enjoy it. So have some fun, you know, your friends. Thanks.